Hello everybody, Casey Conlon here, and I barely have to introduce the man to my right, legendary Q2 broadcaster Jay Cohen, although I guess now it's Grizz broadcaster Jay Cohen. We're partners with the Big Sky Conference, yes, yeah. but uh, it's been all Grizz all year this year. We talked to you in August, it was a dream come true. We're on the eve of the big game now, yeah. has it been? Yes, it has, it's really been fun. Um, some games have been a little more fun than others. The funnest thing has been having access to the coaches and hearing their strategies going in. And on this game with the Cats and Grizz, the coaches don't want any of us in on their conversations. There's a lot at stake. But for instance, the Idaho game, we met with the Idaho coach and we've been doing Zoom calls and in some cases conference calls. And they told us exactly what they were going to do with the Grizzlies. And we walked out and went, good luck with that. And they did exactly what they told us they were going to do. They held on to the ball, took a couple possessions away. They thought they could force the Grizzly quarterback to throw it rather than run. To see a team tell us what they were going to do and then witness them doing it and pull off a big upset, we both kind of just shook our heads. Marty and I looking and said, wow, I can't believe they did that. Kudos to them. Do you have any idea what number of Cat Grizz game this will be that you've seen in your life? Oh gosh, no. <laughs> I started going to school in 1970, 71 was the first one I went to, the old Dorn Blazer, or the, the new Dorn Blazer Stadium. Aiden Neller, the tight end out of Vancouver, Washington. I, I have really not ever seen a game at the Bobcat Stadium. I've seen some great concerts there. So this will um, unbelievably be a new experience. It'll be you. a new experience. Okay, um, I'm going to end <laughs> with some of the history that some people might not know about the game when it was contested in your original stomping grounds of Butte. Yeah, I don't think people know that for 25 years, 1925 to 1950, they played in Butte. It was awesome because it was halfway between Bozeman and Missoula. The fans would arrive on trains. Both teams would stay at the Finland because it was the largest hotel in mm -hmm. Montana. Right. They had this huge parade in Uptown Butte. You'll see the photos that are just spectacular. And they, you know, five or 10 deep along Park Street in Uptown Butte. You can almost feel the, the essence of that game by watching those photos. And the people said, classic Butte, it was the party of the year. It was like St. Patrick's Day and New Year's Eve all rolled into one. Well, you'll hear more from our resident Butte historian in that story tonight at 6 o'clock. You won't want to miss it, and good luck this weekend. Thank sir. you. Thank, Thank you. you. May the best team win.